The bachelorette party is now over. I didn't vlog it because, I don't know, just obviously. Lots of butterfly clips were worn by everyone as requested by the bride. That is why you see this here today. But wow, this was really the coolest Airbnb I think I've ever stayed in. So cool. I'll link it down below. I guess if anyone, you know, was interested, it is just like amazing. Definitely good for a group. Not really one or two people because it's really, really big. But if you have a group of like eight or ten, this house is amazing for that. Cool kitchen. Like I feel like I could have made probably a main channel video about this place. It's so cool. And they have the Sono speakers in the ceiling, which is honestly just such a good idea. Kind of wish that was something we did in Palm Springs. I just got back home. It is Monday. I flew back from Seattle today and when I landed in LA, I saw some bad news on my phone. Not great uh, regarding the Palm Springs house. Basically, the glass panel in the front broke. So I'll insert a photo. We do have a ring camera, but my free trial subscription had ended and I forgot to start paying for it. And so I don't have a recording of the video when I could have, which is a huge bummer because I do wonder, did someone break it? Or was it the wind? I really just want to believe that it was the wind. I really don't want to believe that someone you know, vandalized the property and broke it. It really doesn't matter either way. The glass panel is broken, so that's like kind of a bummer. Honestly though, I felt nothing. Like I'm just so used to things going wrong with that. I'm like, whatever, we will get it fixed. It will be fine. I'm not even honestly mad about it. I mean, at this point I kind of consider like maybe the glass panels aren't the move. We did spend money putting that in, but I feel like breeze blocks would be better. It just, I honestly don't even really like how it looks. It was kind of Monica's idea. She went for it and I was paying attention to other stuff, not trying to like blame her or anything. We both don't really love how it turned out. So I would be fine if the glass was still there. Like it's not a huge deal. It's just, you know. And I will say I am really glad that this happened when no one was there. Like. No renters were there, so that's really good. Probably best case scenario for when it happened. I do have an alarm system for inside the house, so I'm just gonna make sure nothing like went off with that. Yeah, that looks all good. So I really don't think that it was vandalism because if they were trying to vandalize, they didn't do a very good job at it. Like they didn't even steal anything. You would think, right, that they would actually go in the house. I don't know. So having sweet green and then I'm going to edit my leaving California video, the Texas one, and finish it. I didn't finish it this weekend or get it up and honestly I feel kind of guilty about that but no point in feeling guilty. I'm just gonna get it done. Okay, so I am currently editing my video about California versus Texas. I just feel so like behind I don't know, I don't really like how the video is turning out for some reason. I don't know if it's my footage or the editing. I'm using that DaVinci Resolve new editing software and it just feels so foreign to me that it's like, I don't even, I can't tell if the video is good. I just feel like weird about it. That's why I know that's why I procrastinated it this weekend. It's not because editing a video is actually like a thing I dislike doing. I just have a fear that the video is not gonna turn out good. I'm extra motivated. Like when I like the footage I have, I can't wait to edit. But this one, I just feel like, I don't know where I'm going with it. Like, what is the point even? Why am I making it, you know? I'm like, I'm having a full on YouTube channel crisis because I'm like, why am I making the video? I'm making should I do different ones like what should I do I don't know I just need to finish it heading to Palm Springs today so I'm gonna go pick up Monica from the airport and we're gonna head straight there uh well I guess we'll see what that glass that broken glass situation is like work on getting that fixed okay we're heading into best buy to get a um so sound system yeah we want to get the sonos one it's sorry you guys can't use it though unfortunately yeah if you're airbnb being a house in palm springs you can't play music outside but if you're the owner of the house you can and that honestly sucks like i feel bad for people at airbnb because that's such a fun thing to do but they're super strict about it so it's like you're real okay yeah and then you'll so what happens is You'll, if someone complains, 
house, the police will show up and you will get a fine. You'll get like a thousand dollar fine. Yeah. So it's the like, Airbnb guests. Yeah, it's not good for our house, but like you'll actually have repercussions. Yeah, everyone does. We would also get a strike. So this is the Sonos Move and it has a little charging dock so you just like place it back in that which is cool isn't that cool 400 like it's expensive but two of these and you're good okay we just got to the house and i can see where the glass broke i'll show you guys it is kind of freaky looking we also got this door installed so it is going to have glass panels in between and it's going to be painted that same silver. Oh yeah, I wanted to see this in person, so we got this white rock put in here, and it will look nice with some cactus. I had originally asked the guy to do white DG, but now I actually like the rock because it matches all the rest of the rock. Kind of would have been random to just have a little DG. And this is where the glass broke, as we can see. It's tempered glass, so it broke into little pieces, and there's like a little bit still left there. But that is so crazy, like, wonder what did it? I don't know. But now I have the ring camera subscription on, so we will see you next time. Feeling nice out here. Oh, got some deliveries here. The bed. Oh, hello, house. Look at this. This is a nice gift. So this is. Oh my gosh, they left a card too. So if you guys know Erin Robinson, her and her husband stayed here uh, like a week or two ago, and this is so awesome. I love a candle. These ads cool. are cool. I'm gonna like make them work right now. This bakeware set, wine stoppers. Okay, so just getting unpacked for the weekend. Guess I'll be here for a little while. Um, but I did bring some stuff from LA that I didn't like. I ordered food, so I didn't want to like go back. Goat cheese, salsa, bread, and avocado. Oh, so update. I think I mentioned in my vlog like over a month ago that I was going to go to the doctor because when I get hungry, I get so spacey and like it just seemed not normal. And yeah, I did. I got some blood work done. I don't know what it really is yet, but she was basically just like, just eat a bigger breakfast and see if that helps. She was like, I think you're just, your friends are just calling you a bitch. <laughs> Got a really good vibe from this doctor also. I'm used to doctors kind of like rushing you out and you get like 10 minutes with them. Like this doctor spent a long time, like very thorough. So that was good. Yeah, she pretty much said that some people just are like that, have maybe a faster metabolism or whatever it is. And so when they get hungry, it affects them differently. And some people, they cannot eat all day and not have any weird effects. And it's not really always something to worry about, but sometimes it is like it, it could lead to things, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just how you are. I'm excited to hear it. I know. Because it could, so what if it's like so good that outside you only need one and inside you need one? So often I'll order a lot of stuff for the house and then I don't really remember always what it is. So it's fun. It feels like a surprise. I'm not sure what this is. Same one. Cool. Okay, we can put this in the back. Okay, there was one package here. I was like, wait, what is this? I definitely didn't order this. And I am so excited. It is from Smart Sweets and it's a giant pack of gummy bears. So yeah, we're gonna dig into these this weekend. So Smart Sweets are like not as bad for you. It's less sugar and all that stuff. I don't know. And they still taste really good. I'm a huge fan. They're at like Target and places like that. You guys have seen it. They also said a jar to put it in, so I feel like that'll be really fun for this weekend to have this jar of gummy bears. Okay, I'm currently just in the middle of doing my hair and having some cold brew because I'm going to record an update of the house, kind of like before and after renovation for my main channel. Yeah, just having some cold brew, and this is one of the things I just didn't even realize. It's such an upgrade. So Aaron left these little guys, salt and pepper grinder slash shaker, and it is like, it is an upgrade from these ones that we had that were kind of running out anyway. So that was like a very thoughtful little touch. Like, love that. Okay, just doing my hair in here. And if anyone, I guess I should, disclaimer, Erin didn't stay here as an Airbnb. It's not on Airbnb yet. We just let her stay here because nobody was staying here one weekend and she was having construction done on her house and I know how much fun that is to live through and try and make videos for her. So I was like, you should go stay in Palm Springs house. So definitely not expecting anyone who stays here, especially if you're a paying Airbnb customer to leave stuff behind. Like that is like 
way too nice, you know? I mean, we don't even have a short-term rental permit yet, so we can't rent it out yet. Not in my best shape, which is fine, it happens, but I really just wanna eat healthy, get some good workouts in. That probably won't happen a whole lot this weekend, but you know, next week. Okay, I got this room all put together and looking nice, although I am gonna take, I did take photos of these beds and listed them on Facebook Marketplace. The new beds are outside, so after I record this video, I'm gonna start putting them together and we'll fit full-size beds in here. And I just think that's gonna be great, just having people come stay. I would never mind sleeping on a full-size bed, so I'm like, anyone can take the other rooms, I really don't even care. I'm not even that tall and I feel like it's small, so I can't imagine you're actually tall. Okay, so I'm recording right now. Our real estate agent slash friend is gonna stop in a little bit though, so I'm gonna do the full walkthrough tomorrow morning, but I did spend a lot of time making everything look good. That always takes a while. Just getting a shot of me putting all these groceries into this pantry. I'm doing a brand deal with Thrive Market in this main channel video, and now I'm like obsessed with Thrive Market. You can get like expensive stuff for a really good price. It's very cool. And this vlog isn't sponsored by them. I just am a fan. Okay. Surprise, surprise, we're making salmon. Grilling, of course. We're listening to a podcast about a movie we're gonna watch. And I have a new flavor of smart sweets to try. I have, and, and I've built this business and I have found ways to, to you know, increase my revenue streams and, and 